Shalom de la blessure. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is a day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in this amazing day. It's a day of fulfillment. It's a day of his glory being revealed. It's a day of amazing blessing. It's a day where the Lord wants to do something amazing, something different, and something unique in our lives. And we will rejoice and be glad in this amazing day. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Please, if you have seen me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. This particular person made a promise to God about you. Yes, this particular person in your life, this is what they told God about you. They made a promise to God about you. They made a promise to God about you, and I'm going to tell you what they said to God about you, okay? You know, the last thing that I've learned before giving you out this particular prophetic word and the last thing that I learned when this uh, prophetic word, as this prophetic word has been revealed in my spirit, it's just left for me to say it. Like, I know what I want to say. So I already know the lesson before you are going to know the lesson. So because I'm the one giving you the word right now, I have the lessons already because I have a knowledge. I know what I want to say. And secondly, I will not even say everything that I want to say, but the spirit of God is just going to give me the old trends as I keep going on and on and I'm saying it. So the lesson I've learned about this prophetic word is there is a man for every woman. There is a woman for every man. There is somebody for everybody. Oh, pastor, what about the days when the Lord says a, a woman, seven women to one man? It's not yet come. Says who? Says me, Ethel. It's not yet come. There is still time for it. And But if you feel like that's who you want to be, you want to become a seventh person, you want to become a fifth, that's okay. Like, all in one, I'm not talking about, no, I'm, I'm not talking about position wise. Yes, but I'm not talking about, I'm talking about like, I'm talking about like this person has got you married and then all of you seven wives are staying under one roof. No, that's not your portion. Your portion is somebody staying with you under one roof with you and has decided to be with you. But just in case you find yourself in a polygamous home or where you are is polygamous, that's okay. As long as you're getting the love and the attention and you feel comfortable, that makes it amazing. Okay? That makes it amazing. So the lesson about this prophetic word is to tell you how valuable you are. Is to tell you that no matter how one person mistreats you, there is another person who longs to cherish you. There is another person who loves you so much that they will do anything and everything to keep you. They will do anything and everything to maintain you. There is somebody out there that do not want to lose you. Now, let me tell you something that is just so factual and it's just so real. You will play with the emotions of one person, thinking that they will have no place to go until they are lucky enough to find a limit or they are lucky enough to break out of a limit or they are lucky enough to say, this is my limit, I can't take this anymore and decided to go on and move out. And then you're going to notice how valuable they are, why or how. There is somebody that is going to meet this particular person you've been playing with. And the person will do everything that the person in the person had wanted you to do. And then you did not want to do it. Now, what happens is when you realize that there is somebody out there who can do all what this person had wanted you to do and you did not do it. That is when you start feeling like, oh, I wish I did this. Especially if this person was an amazing person and you can't seem to find a replacement. We will always feel like we can get and find replacements until it becomes difficult. And then you notice that the person that you dealt with is moving on. And the person is moving on with somebody who is treating them special. Always make out and use the opportunity to treat who you love special. What they want you to do, if it's not going to kill you, please do it. It will build your relationship. 
except it's going to kill you. But I believe that if somebody loves you, they will not want you to do what will kill you. You must not always want people to be at your own level or to be at your own pace. But you should always learn to, to reciprocate it back. Love is not one side. Love is not hidden. You know, love is, is seen even when you try to hide it. It comes out. It blows out. I said this and I just felt so nice. Someone loves you so much right now. And this is a kind of love that you pray for God. You pray to God for. This is the kind of person you pray to God for. This is the kind of person you said, God, if you give me this kind of love life, if you give me this kind of person, I'm going to be happy. And this particular person loves you so much. And they made a promise to God about you. They told God that they love you. They told God that you're their blessings. They also told God that you're the person they've been looking for. And they made a promise to God that they will make you happy. They made a promise to God that they want to spend the rest of their lives with you. They made a promise to God that they love you so much. And they told God that they don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose you. Now, let me tell you, there is no perfect relationship. You will meet somebody who is doing everything that you want them to do. And sometimes you're going to have misunderstandings with them. Sometimes you're going to have problems with them. It doesn't mean that you should leave or it doesn't mean that they are not the right person for you. What does it mean? It means that you should find a way to solve the problem and keep moving on. There is always somebody that is ready to make you happy. There is always somebody that is praying to God about you. Yes. Praying to God that they don't want to lose you. Now, when you look at yourself, you will realize how valuable you've been. There are people who would never take you for who you are and not value you. But there is somebody out there who will value you. There is somebody out there who want to give you the life you've been praying for. Somebody out there who want to give you the life you've been wanting all along. You are so blessed. This is the time and this is the hour. Everything is going to be revealed to you. And I just heard the Lord told me congratulations. This is a great congratulations for you. Congratulations on your love life. You've been watching me right now. You will type it on the comment section. Whether you have in a relationship already or not, you're in a relationship, you're believing God that this relationship become my dream relationship or you're still praying to God. You will type it and still connect yourself and say congratulations to my love life. Congratulations to my love life in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you all writing on the comment section and connecting yourself in Jesus. Then go ahead and share this video and please pray for me as the spirit of the Lord to lead you to please. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you cast his face to shine and you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. With the shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. I love you so, so much. God bless you amazingly and God bless you abundantly. I love you so much. Shalom.